Hello, this is Bryce from Smartworks, and welcome back to our new Quick Start Guide series. In this video, we will be covering character creation for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition for players. With this video, we are assuming you have already loaded all of your core rulebooks and modules that you will need. For information on how to do that, please see this video in the cards. All right. When you load into a Fantasy Grounds game, you will be met with this character selection screen. You will be able to see all unclaimed characters that are currently created. Maybe your DM has made some pre-gen characters or something like that. You will also see a little character wizard panel in the top corner. The easiest way to create a new character is going to be to come up to the character wizard panel. Click on that and it will open up the Fantasy Grounds character wizard for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Please note, you can also add a character by using the green add item icon in the bottom right corner of the window. Doing so will add a new blank character sheet where you can fill out all the information manually if you wish. We will not be covering that in this video. Starting with the character wizard, we can Choose a source book if we wish. If you do not choose one, it will pick from all of these. But if you want to narrow it down, say we only want to use player's handbook rules, this will narrow it down for race selection. You can choose whatever you like for your race. We are going to pick Elf. After you pick your race, if applicable, you will be met with a sub-race selection. This will pick from any of the books that you currently have, as you can see. Let's go with something simple such as a high elf from there it will give you any extra race options you might have for high elf we get to pick a cantrip we'll take firebolt and an extra language we can pick from our language list let's pick goblin because why not after we get through that and all of your race options look good you can go through and update things if you wish including Changing your ability score increases. Uh, if you want to use something different, remember to get these approved by your DM, obviously. After you're done here, we can move over to class, and we can now pick your class. For class, let's pick a wizard. After picking your class, you will be then met with any of your class options that you should pick uh, for proficiencies and anything like that. For wizard, we get to choose two from Arcana, History, Insight, Investigation, Medicine, and Religion. We will pick uh, Insight and Religion. You can also pick the spells that we are allowed to know at this time. We can pick some cantrips, grab Blade Ward, Acid Splash, and I already have Firebolt um, Infestation. So it's three cantrips. And we can pick six spells. Color spray, feather fall, ice knife, identify, jump, mage armor. Fantasy ones will let you pick more than you are quote unquote allowed. This is to allow uh, homebrew rules or uh, anything that you work out with your DMs or GMs. Obviously, when picking character options, make sure you communicate with them thoroughly. Once you have your class picked, we can move over to ability scores, where we can use a variety of methods. You can dice roll or manual entry. If you do this, you can manually roll the dice by clicking the button. Or you can yourself manually override in your own scores if you want to roll them physically. We use a point by system, where you can use the up and down arrows to purchase and sell off points that you want. We can use that to go through. Once we hit 27 points, that will be it. And our scores will be calculated. Or we can choose a standard array. We can use that to go through. Once we hit 27 points, that will be it. And our scores will be calculated. Or we can choose a standard array. You can, with standard array, drag and drop. You can, with any of these under the base section, drag and drop these to move them around. This also works with the dice roll. You can drag around your, your numbers if you want to change up how your scores go. Once your ability scores are set, we'll move on to background. You can pick one of the many backgrounds in 5th edition. We're going to pick Folk Hero. You'll then be met with your background options. 
such as proficiencies. Tool proficiency, we'll just grab alchemist supplies. Under equipment, you can select starting wealth, which will randomly roll you an amount of gold. You can then add items such as uh, bags, backpacks, weapons, anything like that. Please note, Fantasy Grounds will not auto-calculate and remove gold spent for items added. You must work that out with your DM and do it manually. We can also select a starting kit and go through the options in the player's handbook. Alchemist supplies, quarter staff, component pouch, scholar's pack. You can then add any extra items that you've worked out with your DM if you wish. After you've gone through all of those, you can then hit commit, name your character, we'll name him Zed, and then hit save. You now have a new character. Make sure you go through and just double check all of your stuff to make sure everything seems in order. Looks like it is here. You then fill out your notes page if you wish, add any log or information, check your actions, make sure all those are good. You can prepare your spells if you wish, which we will cover when we cover combat. The only final thing to do is to select a portrait for your character. We can expand this out so we've got all of these options. And you can go through here and find yourself a portrait that fits your character. After you've completed that, your character is now completed for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date on this guide series. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Maybe share it with your friends. And remember, you can learn more at Fantasy Grounds dot com